Dallas police have arrested two suspects for the robbery of a man with a baby. He was held up leaving an East Dallas park. It happened in the 10,000 block of Clearbrook Lane in the Lockwood neighborhood, and police are investigating whether this crime is linked to two other robberies nearby in Lake Highlands. Live at Dallas Police Headquarters tonight, Fox 4's Deanna Zoga with the latest on the police investigation. Deanna? Well, Steve, police tell us they are working to determine if the same suspects in this most recent robbery also robbed a jogger and a third person who was out for a walk. In each of those cases, the victim was robbed by someone who stepped out of a car with a gun. And all three of those robberies happened less than three miles apart and within seven days of each other. I'm a father myself, and so just the, the first gut-wrenching part of it. As a friend and neighbor, Scott Robson was one of the first to hear from the family of a man held up at gunpoint while leaving a neighborhood park with his baby in his arms. Many of us, myself included, are just sickened by this. I'm just tr putting ourselves in the shoes of the of the father and the one year old. The robbery happened at around 730 Monday evening near Lockwood Park. Two robbers were in a dark colored four door sedan. Robson says they stopped and asked the victim for directions, then pulled a gun and forced the man to the ground, taking his wallet and phone. This street right here where it happened, I, I, there's always people walking their dogs or out with their kids. I'm like, that's that. I don't know if these guys were just uh, what they were thinking. That's kind of scary. With two in custody, Dallas police are taking a hard look at two more robberies three miles away in Lake Highlands. Both happened the morning of July 20th. One victim was robbed while jogging on Broken Bow Road. Another was taking a walk on Chesterton Drive. We are so communicative as a neighborhood. Since Monday's robbery, the Lockwood Neighborhood Association has been spreading the word over social media. So we put that information out because people are new to the neighborhood or people are just are afraid or concerned or wondering what's happening. Letting neighbors following the case know that there could soon be a resolution. I really hope that they're related because then they would have the bad guys. You know, you hope that there aren't more of them running around. So this most recent robbery unfolded very quickly. The father who was robbed was not physically hurt. That baby is okay. And, and Steve, the Neighborhood Association there in the Lockwood neighborhood says that the family did want neighbors to know about this. They could be on the lookout and also be uh, watching out for those suspects and, and guarding themselves, of course. Back to you. All right, let's talk a little bit about that. You said the suspects have been arrested. Are, are, are they from the neighborhood? Where are they from? Do we know who they are? We don't know who they are. Dallas police say they are not releasing those suspects' identities. I can tell you that behind the scenes, investigators are working to put together a photo lineup, gather up the uh, victims in the other robberies in Lake Highlands, and, and try to see if there is a connection there. So at this time, those suspects have not been publicly identified. At least that's something we'll certainly uh, keep tabs on as this investigation unfolds. Back to you. Okay, Deanna Zoga, live at Dallas Police Headquarters. Thanks.